<laughs> what is going on guys welcome back to top 10 Tuesdays here we go how you guys doing Jake here with White House on the Hill let's get started so today we are talking about the top 10 most exotic chicken breeds so what was I looking for in this list you guys gave me some great nominations in the previous video and they gave me a lot of choices to work with so my main goal with this list was to balance appearance with availability so there's some crazy looking breeds out there like the naked neck and the white faced Spanish that look super freaky but they're pretty readily available in our country so I wanted to find some different breeds that you may have heard of you may not have heard of show you some footage from them and tell you a little bit about the breed and if there's a place to get them I wanted to include that as well so let's get started So the Icelandic chicken breed, I know you guys have heard about it. They're from Iceland. They've adapted to very harsh winters. They're known for their foraging and their ability to lay well through the winter. So the problem with them being available here in the US is that they're not bred to any specific standard. So hatcheries don't carry them. So they are available. There are some Facebook sites that I linked down in the description. And if you wanna learn some more about them, uh, Lumna Acres, Amy Fuel with the Fuel Homestead, and Chicka Wolf Ranch all have some great videos on Icelandic chickens. Number nine is the Spitzhauben. Maybe it's Spitzhaben. I don't know my German very well. These chickens originated from Switzerland, where Spitzalben means decorative hat, and it's well represented with the feather plumage on their head. Really pretty bird, really unique bird. These are decently available here in the US. You're gonna see a lot of these breeds are available at Greenfire Farms. They carry some really unique and rare birds, but this one's also available at Cackle Hatchery, and I included a link down in the description. eight is the Breda. This breed derived from Holland where it's known as the Krykops, which means crow head because of it lacking any type of comb and because of its wide nostrils. I guess that's a crow thing. In the US it's similar to the Cochin or the Langshan and it's not very it's not very readily available but I did find a breeder and I included a link to their website. are the Frisian. They're a very small breed that came from the Netherlands. They're known to be good egg layers and good foragers, kind of like the Icelandic chickens. A pretty rare bird here in the US. Number six is the breasts. Not breast, but breasts. It's a dual purpose breed that derived from France. And the easy way to remember that is that they've got a red comb, a white body, and blue feet, much like the French flag. If you've seen the Swedish homestead at all, he raised a number of these for both meat and for eggs. And I was excited to find some footage from Old South Farm. Didn't realize our friends down in Alabama had some of these chickens. They're not particularly unique in color, but they are very rare here in the US. Greenfire Farms does carry them and claims that they are the tastiest chicken in the world. I'm pretty excited to try them after hearing that claim. Coming in at number five is the Anagadori chicken. Hey, I finally said it right, Anagadori. This Japanese breed is known to have the longest tail of any 
chicken in the world. They'll grow to as long as 25 feet in length. And they're derived from the green jungle fowl, which you might just see here in a few minutes. They're very difficult to find here in the US, but if you like long tails, check out the silver phoenix. They're a very similar looking breed that are very available here in the US. I couldn't quite figure out all about this breed and breeds and there's a couple names for them. They come in a couple different forms here in the US. We're gonna call them the Ko Shamo. A relative of theirs is the Tosa Chibi and Greenfire Farms carries a breed of them known as the Yomato Gunkai. These guys are particularly unique for their upright stance. They originated in Thailand, now come through Japan. In Japan, they typically use this breed for cockfighting, which is still illegal there, apparently. But they're a unique looking bird that I even found one of our viewers, AHVH, uh, linked one of their videos where they have some of the Tosa Chibi. Number three is the I Am Chimani, the Indonesian all black chicken. From its feathers, to its skin, to its meat, and even its bones, it is all black. Greenfire Farms calls it the Lamborghini of poultry for how slick it looks. If you follow Grassfed Homestead at all, he's had some videos where he's shown raising the bird, butchering it, and even eating the meat. I've linked one of his videos down below. Okay guys, now we're getting into the really crazy looking ones. Check out number two, the green jungle fowl. these guys just gorgeous so they're from Indonesia their combs look amazing this website in Indonesia has them available to import them if you're really interested and they describe them somewhere between a chicken and a pheasant but they also say they compare them to a peacock because of its colors and waddles like a turkey so it brings in all of these different ties to so many other birds these guys are cool. It is time for number one, the number one most exotic chicken breed. And if I didn't see video of this breed, I wouldn't believe it for myself. Check out the Dong Tao. those legs huh the dong tao also known as the dragon chicken is from what i understand only available in vietnam and again if i didn't see a video of it i wouldn't believe it for myself its legs and feet are as big as a human's wrist and thus has caused breeding issues because those feet probably cause a lot of issues when those chickens are trying to hatch out I've seen one or two websites where they might be available straight from Vietnam, but people are wanting some crazy dollar amounts like $2,500 for a breeding pair of these guys. Really cool, but I think I'm just gonna look at them online. So thank you guys for joining us for another Top 10 Tuesday. Had a lot of fun putting this list together. Let us know what you think down in the comments. What birds did we leave out? What did we get right? Let us know. And I hope you'll get some of these breeds. I'd love to see some more of these in the US. So stay tuned for more Top 10 Tuesdays. We'll keep doing this as long as you guys enjoy these. For more information on our lists, go down into the description. You can find the Top 10 Tuesday playlist, links to the other Top 10 lists, and you can see future lists included down there in the description. See you next time.